Hi parents, it's Easter week. So we're gonna take a little bit of a break from our regular study of the Jesus curriculum. And we're gonna talk about Easter this week. So what a great time to talk with the children about why Jesus came to this earth. And I've given you a whole lot more passages this week, maybe seven or eight of them, but they're only one verse or so for each one. And um, they're great passages for you to look up and talk about the Easter story. So the first day of that week was Palm Sunday and Jesus rode into Jerusalem and everybody was putting their coats down on the ground and there was palm branches. So you might wanna go outside and find some branches or some big leaves or some flowers and wave them around. And these are, these are active stories that you could act out each night at dinner. Then after the Palm Sunday and the great celebration of Jesus coming in and everybody going, Jesus should be king. We want Jesus to be king. And then we get to Thursday night where there's the Last Supper and you could read that in the gospel with the, um, it's written in several gospels where you could see what, what happened at the Last Supper and read through that with the kids, maybe do a little acting out. And then we have Good Friday and when Jesus is crucified. And there's several verses that I've included Roman in Romans. Um, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. We all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So those are included in the list that I gave you. So you can talk to the kids about exactly why it was that Jesus needed to die for us. And he was the perfect Lamb of God. And then we get into Easter Sunday morning and the great excitement when Mary goes to the tomb and it's empty and the angel says, he's alive, he's risen, he's not here. So the activity that I have for you this week is actually a Sunday morning, Easter Sunday morning activity. And it's one of my favorites, an oldie but a goodie. You may have done it before. We've done it at church before, but not for a few years. So I don't think there'll be a whole lot of kids that'll remember it. But maybe, but doesn't matter, it's fun anyway. So you're gonna to need to go to the store beforehand and get those poppin' fresh um, crescent rolls, you know, that come in the long tube and you peel off paper and then you whack it against the, the counter and it pops out. And so the crescent rolls, and they come in triangles, but you need to leave two triangles together and make it a rectangle. So you'll have a big enough one. And that is gonna be your tomb. And then you're gonna get a regular size marshmallow for each one of these rolls. And the regular size marshmallow, pure and white, is Jesus, the spotless lamb, the perfect lamb of God. And you're gonna lay your marshmallow onto the dough and then you're gonna bind it all up. You're gonna bring it up um, to the top, pinch it, maybe use a little water to make sure that it seals well. And those are gonna be a tomb. So you've got Jesus, the pure white lamb of God in the tomb, which is the dough of the rectangle of the crescent dough. Then I always like to sprinkle a little cinnamon sugar on the top, kind of like the dirt, let's say, that was around the tomb. So um, sprinkle a little cinnamon sugar on the top and then you bake it just as the instructions on the package tell you to bake it. And lo and behold, when you open up each tomb, the Jesus is gone, but you have a lovely, soft, warm, sweet roll to eat with your Easter brunch. And he's not in the tomb because Jesus is risen and he's alive. So thanks so much. I hope you're enjoying these and God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful Easter. We'll miss seeing you, but we'll see you soon. Stay well. Bye-bye.